Marine energy technologies could soon join other renewable energy sources in the fight against climate change. This clean energy resource has the potential to power coastal and island communities and support grids worldwide. But to leap from lab to commercialization, marine energy technologies must first ace their open water tests. And that means navigating an important and complex permitting process. Permits and regulations are essential. They exist to help protect our oceans and rivers, along with their wildlife and ecosystems. These complex processes can also increase the cost and time to deploy marine energy technologies, potentially delaying the development of devices that could help protect our waters and planet. The U.S. Department of Energy's Water Power Technologies Office, or WPTO, works to advance the development of reliable, cost-competitive marine energy technologies, so they're making it faster, easier, and more cost-effective for companies to take next steps to deploy their devices while abiding by marine regulatory protections and standards. WPTO partners with organizations that can accelerate marine energy research and development or help establish and maintain pre-permitted testing locations. Technology developers working to hone their prototypes can access some of the nation's top marine energy facilities and experts through the Testing Expertise and Access for Marine Energy Research Program, or TEAMER. In just two years, TEAMER has helped 71 projects advance towards commercialization, with more on the horizon. In addition, a partnership with the U.S. Navy has allowed several wave energy developers access to the Wave Energy Test Site, the country's first such site to be connected to the grid. At the facility in Hawaii, companies can assess how devices perform in ocean waves in a location monitored by the U.S. Navy to ensure all environmental regulations are followed. Across the Pacific, in Oregon State, Construction continues on the nation's first accredited, grid-connected, pre-permitted open water wave energy test facility at PacWave South. This site will be able to host up to 20 different devices at a time, enabling users to examine how wave energy devices could support remote and community energy grids, function on or off the grid, and monitor ocean conditions. A pre-permitted site means that most wave energy converter types will not require additional permits. Developers can focus their efforts on the design, fabrication, and testing that will support eventual commercial deployment. Marine energy has the potential to help the nation reach a 100% clean energy future. WPTO will continue to help marine energy developers safely overcome barriers to achieve commercial deployment. Learn more about WPTO's efforts to provide access to marine energy testing at energy.gov water.